find the right fit for me. I almost didn't choose engineering. Not a lot of people know this, I've taken the LSAT twice. Wow. <laughs> My name is Grace Shaw, and I am a material science engineer graduate from the class of 2012, and I am a Master of Entrepreneurship graduate from the class of 2013. I've had a chance to be on the startup portfolio management side and economic development with a group of 200 companies in my portfolio, in addition to working in operations excellence engineering at a Fortune 50 company, UPS. So when I was at the University of Michigan, because of the innovative side of material science engineering, my senior design team and I created an infant incubator blanket that has now become a startup that is warming 10,000 babies in 35 hospitals in 15 countries. Oh so that's, that's amazing. About me. Yeah. So when we first started Warmaloo, we just learned that there was this big problem of over 1 million infants uh, needing warmth during the first, you know, 48 hours of their of their life, uh, because 80% of infants uh, born in these resource scarce countries have a lack of access to, you know, reliable electricity, having enough incubators and other medical equipment. So what we did was over the course of, you know, prototyping, talking and hearing the stories of doctors and nurses uh, serving resource scarce hospitals in India or Kenya, Uganda or Israel, it really took root that what we were doing was touching lives beyond the classroom. So when we were sending our first prototype, that's kind of when it really hit home that we were creating something that could actually save lives. How do you feel like your project went from a project in class to a venture outside of the university? Yes, first off, congratulations if you're at the University of Michigan. <laughs> you are a leader among the best. You are learning from some of those top-notch professors and I really encourage students to leverage those resources and those professors. We wouldn't have been able to even talk to our first doctors and nurses if we hadn't been at the University of Michigan, where our professor, Max Stein, was helping us uh, become introduced to different doctors and nurses. In addition, we were accepted into the University of Michigan has a startup accelerator uh, mm -hmm. called TechArb. It gave us a place to have a physical startup location and, and do things like weld our first warming patch with a blowtorch and a piece of steel um, <laughs> and, and not have to do things like pay rent or overhead. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to accessing really needed early accounting and legal services that allowed us to form the company receive uh, about $112,000 in grant funding, and then be able to uh, submit our first uh, patent application. Oh my gosh. Did you, yes. were you aware of those resources early on in your no. undergrad <laughs> career? No? no? I'm sure a lot of students don't know that those things exist at the university. That's right. And, and so something that I do recommend to all incoming students who are current undergraduate or graduate students Take advantage of these resources, and even if your idea is new, go and start, you know, getting yourself out there. Even though you're at the early stage of your journey, it, these resources are available to you, especially if you have a great idea and you know how to share what you're trying to do. Did you know going into engineering that, first of all, you wanted to study material science, but that you also wanted to be involved in something other than strict engineering? Yes, and that's actually, so I chose material science engineering specifically because I've always loved building things. And I, I remember thinking that this major was one of the best ways to learn about the specific properties of materials and then figure out how to make new, better materials, things that the world has never seen. There's something about that kind of level of discovery and being at the forefront that was exciting to me. So that being said, I chose material science engineering and learned along the way how interdisciplinary it is. It brings in the best of biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, physics. And because of that, it also is a really inter interdisciplinary uh, collaborative field where you find yourself often working with colleagues who are in other departments and that helped prepare me for the real world where I was working on diverse multidisciplinary teams and having to spearhead projects with many different moving parts. 
my advice for students, you know, try out a major, take a class and see if it's, you know, if the subject matter is interesting to you, you know, don't hesitate to take another class and then even someday <laughs> declare in that major. I think that, that was really great advice. Um, and I think that a lot of students could use it. You know, I definitely remember when I was a freshman um, thinking about, yeah. oh, it's so scary to choose what I'm going to study. It's going to be the rest of my yeah. life, you know. Yeah. And the good news is that you're not alone in that journey. One of the things that I initially thought was, OK, if I'm cautious and I do only the things that I know how to do, you know, this is going to be, you know, I'll be in a happy place. But. When you stretch yourself and you take on those roles or assignments, this might be your first time learning that you're really good at something. And so that was something that I wish I had told myself, you know, years earlier. I, I really learned that when I was a, a junior. <laughs> and I wish that I had, you know, I had a chance to tell my younger self that trying new things, taking on leadership roles and responsibilities, it's never too early for you to try something. I had a question about your kind of place where you are now, um, and you mentioned kind of your, your path. Um, what would your college self think of everything you're doing now and who you are today? Oh. <laughs> wow, yeah. I would definitely say that my, my former college self might be, you know, looking and, and learning how valuable it is to, to not just, you know, do a whole bunch of things, but to really do the work that matters. So to focus and, and dig deep in something. It might take longer, so it it wasn't easy warming babies. It took, uh, we're on our ninth year as of this um, this fall. And, but that has been one of the most rewarding aspects of my entire career and, and, my, and my life actually, is warming babies. So I think my college self would maybe, hopefully, fingers are crossed, See the value of like committing and choosing something that really resonates uh, with her.